Go mark up! Get it, Mark up. It's like watching the kids. They're so full of pride. I love these guys. All right, they're getting, they're starting on their critical. At the six minute mark. We just went out at the two minute mark. Meaning they've got roughly to 12 minutes, 13 minutes to get that critical patient out here. So they got another eight minutes to take this door off. I'm guessing this is their plan, their emergency plan. Let's go, Mark up. vehicles now, huh? Uh, At B-Post, Boron. They started with putting Boron in seat, believe it or not, the, the seat hinges so that they wouldn't snap on impact. Then they figured, man, this is wrong metal. Let's put it in the B-Post. Great for the passengers. It, it protects them. Tough on us because our tools, you know, had to catch up.
How did they expose the hinges? Did they use an air chisel or was the hinges already exposed? they try to do is so the critical to reinforce the training of you know you're gonna have two patients on every auto accident you're gonna either get a stable but entrapped meaning vital signs are good they, they could stay in that car forever if they need to they're just entrapped all right okay arm leg something so that's when we create big spaces then the other patient that we get is a critical the guy that you get there and battles might be normal at the beginning but all of a sudden they crash or there's an emergency like you feel on the ground, imminent danger to That's why we developed a rapid education. So I have the medical authorities have taught us that for any trauma patient, a shooting, a stabbing, you fall from a great height, or an auto accident, any trauma that you go critical on, you there's a 10 minute on scene time rule. Our, our rule is we can't confirm that you have spinal cord damage or any back damage, but we surely can confirm you're not breathing or you're bleeding to death. So it's life over limb. We create a hole big enough to get you out of, to get you to the OR, the operating room, because you're in need of us. The other one we can take our time with. This scenario combines the two, all the complex. This guy here is going to be stable. They'll get you first. Look at the clock. They're very, they're on pace. On pace. Even if you pass a minute, for every minute after the 13 minute mark, you get docked one point per assessor for getting him out, you know, after that 10 minute, you know, critical moment that supposed to be on the ground and rescue's taking him off to the, uh, to the trauma site. Then they use the rest of the time, up to 30 minutes before they call time, to get the stable but entrapped patient out. That's the problem. So they're getting training in this scenario in both types of... All right, Mark, go! Get him, Mark, up! So, look at that. He's accessible now. They put forward in, they come out, and they're going to be close to what they want to meet. I mean, what you don't want to do is take this patient out, 18, 19, 20 minute mark, take the puncture moves in, and realistically, you're, you know, you're retrieving a body after after 10 minutes, after 15 minutes. It's a body retrieval. It's not really a, a viable patient. That's why they're rushing. Because it may not be done to perfection, but the assessors know to give them leeway because they're trying to get a critical out. It's not going to be textbook. Now, for the other guy, with time, since he is not critical, they don't want to see you rushing. They want to see you do things textbook, five, you know, okay. right down the line, you know. So, all logic, all the way. We got it, we got it, John. Now, bring out the patient. You're going to get a maybe a one point, top two points per judge. The judge can 200 points, that's not a big deal. And they can start working on that second position. Lady, go straight behind us, okay? He's doing good. They're right on pace. Let's go, Mark up!
Yeah, boy, mark up. Let's get it marked up. Mark up. Disentract, which is good because let's say they do all this, they go off the side or they take off the roof, and this car is totally demolished. And now we're taking the patient out, but the patient's still stuck. People closer to getting out than when we first arrived. So that is kind of in case their health declines. Let's say their they blood pressure starts dropping or bleeding or whatever, they, they go from being stable to unstable. We want to make sure that encampment is out so we can do a dirty rescue like we did the other one yep. in real life, right? That's why the, it's important to free that entrapment sooner than later. Because you spend all this time creating a hole to get the patient out, but the, the entrapment's still there. So theoretically, if at some point in the scenario that patient would go critical, right. they weren't any closer to getting out because right. you didn't. That should be the focus. You can work on the other stuff, but the focus <laughs> got to be this entrapment. So they got it out in 17 minutes, so they're, they're doing good. They want to have this hole finished if their plan is to take out that B post and that back door. Well, they need to be done at around the 25 minute mark. That leaves them five minutes to properly cover up all the sharks. Because when you cut all this, we know, the sharks, the judges don't want to see those sharks and us working near it. So we cover the sharks, operate the patient properly and remove them. It's not like you, it's timing is not the thing. It's not like you're gonna come out 26 minutes, you're gonna beat the team that did it 27. Right. You just wanna, you know, work safely. So 
Some yeah. teams are out here high fiving a camera scenario. No. Oh, we did pay. Yeah, they got the patient out. They did all that. But they got crucified on patient care, safety for the patients, safety for the rescue. You know, we're flying around with sawzalls all near each other. They're gonna they're, they're, they're killing you on points. So to the sawzall, man. It's yes, sir. Like, yes, sir. So is entrapment um, do they also mean your pen? Yes, yeah, that's what it means. Yes. Yeah. Like okay. yeah, so the entrapment is, let's say, an arm between the B post and the seat. Um, they're looking for you to either push the B post or relocate the seat. Uh, a foot underneath the steering, uh, the, the brake pedal. They're just looking, you know, those brake pedals are weak this way, strong this way, but not this way. Sure. So they're looking for you to pull the brake pedal. Um, the leg, you know, the roof down on the head. They're looking for you to ram the roof first and then get the cutting. So if you use an air chisel or saw on, on a roof that's touching the patient's head, you're just transmitting all that vibration that you're hearing down onto the patient's head. But if you ram it first and it's off their head, non-issue, non-issue. They, they seem to have all that well in hand. Now, let's, now we need this door off and that deep post out. Five minutes. You know, 25 is not a hard 25. It means you'd rather have it done at 25 than 29, because then I don't want to leave you a, a minute to remove the patient. 26 is okay, even 27. You just don't want to be rushing that patient out just because the time says 29. I finally finished my plan. Now I didn't even come up sharp. So we're working sloppy, and now you're dropping points up. Correct. Marco! Oh, nice. They're spreading and cutting while it spreads. Okay. Yes. Atta boy. doing it very controlled. It doesn't look chaotic at all. It should be in a certain least an area that looks on the verge of chaotic without being chaotic. That's it. That's it. it looks pretty good too. Though. Oh yeah, yeah. Look, they're created. They already got the critical out. I think a couple minutes past the time, which is only about six point deduction. That's nothing. because they don't want to cut into the seatbelt uh, pretensioner. They don't want to cut into like a seatbelt bracket. Things that are going to, you know, cause the tool to fail. And in, a pre in the case of the pretensioner, you know, you cut into that pretensioner, that's beyond the curve of metal. That thing will literally blow up. Bolts and stuff, they come through bolts and high strength stuff, they don't make it go around. The quarters are top, yeah. they go through like three blades to one compared to the other. Yes, sir. I 
brag to everybody about how, how much you love these guys. That I walked into your humongous lot and the first thing you see is, is the flag that says home of the Markham Education Team. That's beautiful, man. The things you're like, you know, the reason we do this stuff, the things that you're allowing them to do is allowing them to say that. That's not dramatic, it's just a fact. It's just a fact. The time to practice it is not to do it on the scene. Do it, practice. All right, let's get it. Post is coming out. They need to support it. the mechanism. If not, he'd be going right to uh, the cutter or sawzall to get that seat back out. It's amazing. I don't know how long they've been competing, but they look like a team that's been together. And they went through some change. Yeah. Right? Yeah. It was Ray was uh, they, changed, they changed the medic, they changed the IC, the two of the most good positions in the team. And look, yep. no drop. Yo. Yep. Nice. Let's go, Mark up! patient that as soon as they come out they're liaisoning with the medical judge this guy right here and they're saying they banged me all over the place they were hitting me they, when they're when they do it like they like i know they're doing it patient and rescue safety and that's the main two things Uh, 
Me pidieron que le, le tire video, pero ahora mismo hablo todo con ti. They're gonna get all their they're gonna get all their their pass down points. Pain Amanda, okay? Pain. Pain. Checking up her extremities. Amanda, can you push your feet down on my there we go? Awesome. Be mindful of that left arm. Can you squeeze my hands, Amanda? Good job, Amari. Can you squeeze my hand? Good job, Amari. Can you give me another uh, vitals there, uh, Gil? Yep, let's do it. Okay, we got people who keep going at the light.